We're back now at 542. The Washington County Chamber of Commerce invites you out for a Juneteenth weekend celebration. Cor Arlen joins us live this morning near Orenco Station in Hillsboro to talk about the upcoming events. Hey, Cor. Hi Emily, hi Ken, good morning, good morning everybody. It's going to be the second annual Juneteenth celebration out here at Jerry Willie Plaza at Aranko Station in Hillsboro. This has grown quite a lot in just the first year or second year that they will be having had this this year. I have two of the principals involved with me here this morning. This is Janita uh, Jones, JJ Jones, who's up bright and early, not working out. And this is Tony Wallace Sr. here, he's the, uh, the president of the Black Chamber. Well, the chair of the chair. Black Advisory Business Council. Sorry about that. I demoted you. I apologize. No. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about the celebration because uh, last year there's been a big jump and in increase in attendance and vendors and all the rest of that. Tell me a little yeah, bit about so that. So last year was our first uh, for the Washington County Chamber of Commerce uh, Juneteenth celebration. This is our second year and by this time, well this time this year we've, we've tripled as far as the number of vendors that we have. So we're very excited about it and looking forward to a large turnout this year. You got, you had, what you say? You had 30 vendors last year. You're going to have 70 this year. Last year we had 20, and 20. we and we were just really in the center section of uh -huh. Jerry Willie Plaza. Uh -huh. This year we have close to 70, and we've covered basically the entire street, shut it down from beginning to end, and yeah. So we 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 have a lot. Of, we had a large increase from year one to year two, which shows that the community wants this event to occur. So yeah. we're looking forward to yeah. it. And the significance of this event, I want to—I don't want to exclude you here, but just just give me two two or three sentences or, or a little bit on the significance of the event. It surprises me that in 2023 we're only having the second annual Juneteenth celebration. But tell me a little bit about the gravity of this event. Well, that is the only the second annual Juneteenth celebration for Washington County, mm -hmm. right? Because you know Portland has still been doing Juneteenth for years, and also Juneteenth is a celebration of an, you know of freedom, and that is when the slaves were told that we were free. And so it's important when people are enslaved and people um, are, you know, being held against their will and hostage, and then you have the freedom being released. This is a reason to celebrate. So uh, the Washington County Chamber of Commerce is standing behind the fact that Juneteenth is a reason to celebrate. That's why we have our celebration, and that's why we're going to be taking over the plaza yeah. on Saturday. A lot of events like that uh, have deeper meaning. I, I always get, uh, I always get, I always get a lot of. Uh, talk from people on Memorial Day about the real man. Yeah, it's a day off of work. You're probably going to be barbecuing or water skiing or whatever. But there's a meaning like that, just like there is uh, here. And this, uh, arguably, I would say, is probably one of Oregon's most diverse communities out here, right? That's correct. I would agree with that. Uh, as far as Washington County, when you compare it to any other, especially with the Washington County Chamber of Commerce, mm -hmm. there's no other Chamber of Commerce within the state of Kansas. I mean, I'm sorry, the state of Oregon. Uh, a lot like Kansas up, in some places. Slip up, up to where I used to live uh, within the state of Oregon that has five diversity councils. So uh -huh. that's a good selling point to larger communities to say to show that there's a place for you here. You belong here with us. And you got a lot of international employers here, bringing people here from all over the world, and it you looks know nice. Intel is here. You, you know, know Intel Hill and, and a lot of others, Nike, and uh, you name yeah. a bunch of others here. Seventy vendors there. They're going to be food. They're going to be music. They're going to be some people talking. Speakers. speakers. We'll have yep. three wonderful speakers. Yeah. Our our theme this year is art and community, and how art uplifts the black community. So you'll hear you'll hear that message from our speakers this year. Starts at twelve thirty right here at the no, uh, twelve. Twelve. Starts at twelve. If you're twelve thirty, you're going to be half hour late. <laughs> so it starts 12 to 6.30 here at Jerry Willie Plaza at Orenco Station. If you haven't been out here, this is a really cool planned little development here right on the Max Line. So if you're coming from other places, you can hit the Max Line. I don't know what the station stop is here, but it's it's uh, Jerry Willie Plaza at Orenco Station here. 12 o'clock this coming Saturday, the Juneteenth celebration here in Washington County. Emily and Ken. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, sounds like it'll be a great celebration, and I'm glad we're having it here instead of Kansas. <laughs>